Today, Kevin and I are gonna be answering the would you rather questions from the community page. So if you go to my main page, um, YouTube page, it, at the top it'll say like videos, playlists, community, um, and I have been told that if you use an iPhone, or not an iPhone, an iPad, if you use an iPad, apparently there's no community tab there. Which, Maybe if you use the app. Okay, okay, I don't know, but don't know. somebody, don't use an iPad, several so. people had told me. Or I know the TV is a little weird too. Yeah, but I'm thinking people had told me that they used an iPad and didn't have that Maybe if it's working time. with the app or something. I think if you go to the website, using the website, it would work fine, but who knows. But it's under the community tab, and so I ask <laughs> one would you rather question every single day. And usually I do it, for us, it's like 9 or 10 o'clock at night. Um, but because I try to give enough people a chance to answer from the day before. Uh, but the intent of these is just for fun. And it's fun. They're not deep probing questions. No, they're not <laughs> deep questions. And even if I do happen to ask a deep probing question, it's not the end of the world. You know, it's just fun to pick one. But in order to participate, you really do need to pick one. You yeah. know. That's your only two choices. Yeah. This, this is your choices. Uh, you have to choose one. Um, if you're not choosing one, then really you're not playing, you know? So, the first question was, would you rather be invited to dinner cooked by your favorite chef or a book club meeting by your favorite author? And we, you know, you can make your own assumptions from these questions, like a book club meeting by your favorite author. If your favorite author is Agatha Christie and she's passed away, let's just assume you could bring her back. Right. You know? I would do the chef. I would do the chef too. Yeah. Okay, now. Who's the favorite one? I who's the play. chef? Because I know. Um, I already have mine chosen. <laughs> Um, I don't know who. Well, I, you, Paul Hollywood, you'd be baking, you'd be eating bread and cakes. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, Paul Hollywood. Yeah. Um, I don't know who. I don't. I don't really have a favorite chef. I just any chef that cooks meat and food that you know. What's uh, who's the Ashley loves Gordon, Gordon Ramsay. Ramsay. Oh. Yeah, he's good. He's he. Well, he cooks some good stuff. Ashley so. loves Gordon Ramsay, and I think they would get along well. I think. Gordon Ramsay and Ashley would hit it off. I, he, him or maybe Alton Brown. I like him too. And, she, uh, I think they, would, couple of them. they would be great together. Um, the next question is, in your day-to-day -day life, would you rather use paper plates or regular, just a dinner plate? Paper plates for me, it's just easier. Um, it, it, Unless we're like cooking, cook, anytime I cook, cook, and by cook, cook, I mean yeah, fried, baked. Then you use a real cook. plate. Yeah. You use a regular plate. But Kevin and I, many, many, many nights, we'll just eat sandwiches, yeah. and we're using a paper plate. Yeah. You never said who, what was the winner on the last. Oh, one. I'm sorry, I forgot to give percentages. Um, would you rather be uh, the chef? Eighty-five percent said they'd rather have uh, dinner. With, with a chef. A chef. Yeah, that makes fifteen percent said book club. So this one, fifty-five percent said paper plates. So pretty close. Forty-five percent said regular plates. Some people don't like the paper idea. Paper plates won. They don't. Yeah, but it was cl still close. So a lot of people don't like the idea of using paper plates because of the waste uh, mm -hmm. with paper. But if right. you're recycling, then you know it's okay. Because um, we get non-coated plates, so they're just paper. Yeah. Are you buying, uh, oh, sorry, you were buying a new phone. Would you rather buy an Android or Apple? No, this one I bet was pretty tight too. It was tight. Uh, Apple was, is what we've always bought. We've always bought yeah. Apple. So it, once it, you get into the, um, that, that universe of buying Apple stuff, then any apps you buy and things like that, you pretty much are, you have to buy Apple from now. Same thing with Android. If you buy Android apps then you're kind of stuck with Android forever, mm -hmm. unless you just want to throw away all those apps you spent money on, you know, so Apple was 55%. Yeah, so yeah, uh, pretty close. Android 40, 45. For breakfast, would you rather have sausage or bacon? Um, it depends on what kind of sausage it is, but bacon okay. probably. Um, I'd probably rather have bacon. I'm gonna say sausage. Right. And I know I'm in the minority. I love is, is bacon. Minority. The minority is, is sausage. Yeah. Sausage is 34%, bacon is 66. 
I love bacon. I really, really do. But I tell you what, I've just uh, can't beat a good sausage patty. A sausage patty, and it, oh, it's just wonderful. it's real. That's why I was saying it depends on what kind of sausage is. Because sausage links, I could never eat a sausage. There's a nothing better to me for dinner than two biscuits with a sausage. piece of sausage on each and one an and an egg, a fried egg on each one, and you fry your egg in that sausage grease. Yeah, and that's so, good. Just for the phenomenal. vegetarians out there. Oh my gosh, it's good. <laughs> um, okay, would you rather watch a TV show from the 80s or from the 90s? 80s. Um, um, you know what, though? I think I said the 80s when I answered that question, but I think I would rather watch something from the 90s nowadays because the 80s, um, I've watched a few shows from the 80s and they're cheesy. Cheesy, cheesy. Yeah, but we're watching MASH. That's from like the 70s. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, late 70s, I think. I don't know, because like I can't imagine me sitting and watching shows like Happy uh, Days. Was that that was in the seventies too? Was it the seventies? I don't know. What was? I'm that? just trying to think of like um, like American Hero, horrible cheesy show. The um, greatest American greatest Hero? American Hero. Oh, okay. Um, Family Ties. I can't imagine wanting to sit and watch that. Taxi. I can't imagine wanting to sit and watch Taxi. Um, shows like like that. I just can't imagine that. But like Seinfeld, Friends. Those are still Sex and the City. All those kind of shows are still around from the 90s. That's true. Yeah. yeah. I think they've held up better than some of those cheesy 80s shows. Yeah, that's true. I'll when was say, Bosom Buddies? Bosom Buddies. Gosh, I think 80s. I'm <laughs> yeah. sure 80s. Yeah. Different strokes. Um, um, all those. Although I would pick both, cause, but you can't. I'm going to say 90s. I would say 90s. Um, I wasn't trying to convince you, but it's just no. And the the, the nineties won. Seventy one percent said nineties. Twenty nine percent said eighties. To protect your home, if money were not an issue, would you rather have guard dogs or a security system? Um, probably guard dogs. They could take care of things immediately without having to wait for the police to show up. <laughs> That's true. Um, I would rather have, I think, a security system. Yeah. And 77% said security system. Yeah. I mean, you have to feed the dogs. You don't have to feed the security system. That's right. <laughs> but you're still paying out the ear for a security system, too. Uh, would you rather work in an office setting or from home? Home. Home. Yeah. 79% yeah. said from home. Yeah. 21 in an office setting. Um, I think some people are just more 21% of those people. I think some of those people said that if they didn't go in anywhere, they would be by themselves. All the but time. Kevin and I don't have any problem being by ourselves. No. I mean, no, I'd almost prefer it sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to deal with but it. But you know what? Someone told me something interesting kind of about that when we were having the discussion about working from home or not. And um, she said, that her boyfriend is one of those type of people that likes to get up in the morning, get dressed. They feel like that once they've got up in the morning, got dressed, go to work. They feel like that that is part of their routine. You know, they get up and and he said, you know, you might be able to sit there in your pink uh, fuzzy uh, slippers and work, and but he feels more comfortable getting dressed and going to work every day. Okay, but when I I stay at home, I work from home. And when I get up every morning, I get my clothes on and my makeup on, and I do my hair. Oh yeah, you. you and I still work from home, so he could still. He he's he's saying though he likes that routine of going in and and going a place and doing his work, and then when he leaves work, he leaves work. He leaves work. You right. know, work is work, and home is home, and they're right. two separate things. And some people have a, a harder time separating those two. Right. Things. Right. Okay. Well, 79% of you would rather work from home. Money is no object and you need a new computer. Would you rather go with a PC or Mac? PC. PC. PC got 64% of the vote to oh, Mac 36. That's, that's surprising that that's, that's that close. It's not close. 64% to 36. 64 is still pretty daggone close compared to what I thought it would be. Oh, okay. I thought it would be PC would be like 80-20 or something right. like that. But it, I, that surprises me. Uh, Although would, Macs are grown a lot in the past few years. Would you rather be a babysitter or a pet sitter? Probably a boo. I don't know. 
I'd rather be a pet sitter. I think I would too, because once you've kind of taken care of them, then they're kind of on their own. <laughs> pet sitter, 77% yeah. said pet sitter. I think I'd rather be a pet sitter Over too. Over babysitter, 23. Yeah, I've done the baby thing once in my life. I really don't want to do it again. Would you rather make the world have, this is going to be so interesting, one language or one currency? I, I think, even I said one currency. You did. Yeah. I remember you answering this to yeah. me. I'm going to say one language. Yeah. And a lot of people commented, oh, but there are beautiful languages. And, and I agree, there are beautiful languages. But I would also like, it would be nice if everyone spoke the same language just so that you could understand each other. You know, it, it that would just be nice. Well, it's not that I, that... I don't like all the languages, but it would it would just make it so much easier. There, there's a in book I read science fiction a lot, um, so you've got like individual languages that people speak like on their planets, you mm -hmm. know. But then you've got like a trade language or a common language right. that ever. So basically, you learn two languages: you learn your your local language, right. and then you learn a common language. That would be that, fun. That would be good. That yeah. way, you're you're keeping the rich culture involved in that original language. Mm -hmm. But then you, if you have a stranger show up to your shores, you also know you know how to communicate um, other ways too. I like right. the idea of that, but you didn't say that, so I would still say currency. Uh, and I'm still <laughs> gonna say language, and I'm. Uh, 67% I'm surprised 67% said language yeah. so people uh, yeah 33% uh, said currency would you rather potty train five toddlers or five puppies uh, the puppy probably I would too yeah. puppies because toddlers take so long yeah it's like they're they're a little thick and dense sometimes <laughs> takes them a while 78% <laughs> uh, said puppies yeah yeah once they got it the hang of it they're pretty good <laughs> Yeah. I'd rather live train cats though any day. Yeah, cats are the best. <laughs> Would you rather live in a humid climate or a dry climate? Uh, probably dry because humidity, wow, so thick. 77% said dry. I would rather yeah. dry. I don't know where answer that one. Oh, really? Um, Sometimes I miss them. Would you rather learn sign language or a spoken language? from the one you speak. Yeah, different. So, yeah. different from English. Um, probably something different from what I speak. Sign language would be neat, but there, I don't mm -hmm. have any cases where I would use it. Where you would use it, yeah. right. So I would say a different language yeah. from the one I speak as well. 74% of you said that. Not that sign language is a bad language. I, you know, if you have a need for it, then, then I think it's awesome. Oh but, yeah, but, but we I just, don't, we I don't, wouldn't use the, it. The, the, where I'm at in my life, I just don't have that many yeah. I would use it with. Would you rather only be able to eat with a fork or with a spoon? With a spoon. With a spoon. That makes more sense. Yeah. You can't eat hard. soup with a spoon. <laughs> yeah, it's can't, hard. can't eat liquidy stuff with a spoon. I guess you could drink it. 62% said with a spoon. Yeah. Would you rather all of your clothes fit you too tight or too big? Too big. Too big, yeah. My clothes, I like them. I buy all of my clothes that way. 92%. I'd look like a pack sausage if I had them two sides. Yeah. <laughs> uh, would you rather stay in the Overlook Hotel from The Shining or the Bates Motel from Psycho? Uh, the Overlook. The Overlook, well, definitely. Well, not necessarily because of the scariness of it, but the Overlook was kind of dumb. <laughs> it was a roadside little... The Overlook. Not the Overlook, the other one. The, the Bates. The Bates Hotel. It was kind of a dump. You know, it was, it a, was little, a motel. It was a motel with not little rooms hotel. and it was just yeah. like some place you stop because you, you have to stop for the night. Whereas yeah. the Overlook was swanky, you know. The Overlook was, was a hotel. Yeah, yeah, it had a nice bar, it had a restaurant, yeah. so it was nice. It has the doors on the inside, not on the outside. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> There's a difference. Yeah. You walk down hallways to go to their Yeah, 72% uh, said the Overlook. Yeah. Um, would you rather have a private concert with Celine Dion or Adele? Um, I don't know. Probably Celine Dion. And I'm going to say Adele. Really? 68% said Adele. Yeah. I, love, I mean, both of them are voice-wise. They're both basically I think beautiful. they're both, yeah, wonderful powerhouses. Uh, but uh, I just, Adele, I just, um, you know, I don't know. I love her. Uh, for your mom, would you rather have Wonder Woman or Captain Marvel? Um, I, I think Captain Marvel because she has more power, but... 
um, I asked Andrew this question. He said, Wonder Woman, 100%. And I said, why? And he said, because Wonder Woman was born with her powers, so she'll probably give them to me as her son. That was smart. Uh, whereas Captain Marvel inherited her powers, and she wouldn't pass them on. Andrew thinks, yeah. yeah. Andrew, yeah. <laughs> Andrew thinks really deep about something. Yes. Uh, but I'm going to say Wonder Woman, too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 84% said Wonder Woman. Yeah. But uh, Captain Marvel kind of did abandon them in that last the movie. The Captain Marvel movies, I just wasn't that impressed with them. She was okay. Would you rather always be overdressed, like a suit or tie or dress, or underdressed, t-shirt and jeans? Underdressed. It would make awkward funerals, but... I know. Because I would be hot. If I was wearing that uh, all that monkey suit all the time, I would be so hot. I'd be dying. I would just couldn't go outside. I, you know me, I love a hoodie and jeans, but I would rather be overdressed all the time than show up somewhere. I would be mortified. Yeah, I mean, I understand that too. You know, if, I you're, just wouldn't going, go to those places. if you're going to an environment <laughs> where you know everybody's going to be wearing, like if you go to a church where everybody dresses up and you don't want to be that person who walks in, you know, sticking out. See, I just and, wouldn't go to those places. I'd be more comfortable in everyday clothes right. and just avoid those places that to dress up on. If I could underdress and avoid those places, it would be different. Yeah. But I'm going to, for my answer, you have to pick one. I'm going to say overdress yeah. just because I would rather be prepared and not be embarrassed. Um, underdressed is 76%. Right. And I totally get it. I get why you said it. Would you rather buy your Pop-Tarts frosted or plain? Frosted. Frosted? Yeah. I know some people like the plain. The 12% of you that said plain, <laughs> what is wrong with you? 88% uh, said frosted. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Uh, would you rather find the love of your life? This was a good one. Or be given a million dollars? And I, I instantly said the love of my life. But then someone in the comments said something I hadn't thought of. And I think even Andrew said this too. What? He said, I've already found the love of my life, so give me the million dollars. Okay. But I, see, that's playing the game a little bit. That's playing the game a little bit. <laughs> but let's say you and I don't know each other. That's what I'm saying. You're single and you're by yourself and you're stuck on an island somewhere. Yeah, would you rather have the love of your life or a million dollars? Yeah, the love yeah. of my life. It, I don't want to be stuck on an island because then I can't spend the money. You know money. what I'm saying. Okay, but I'm not stuck on an island. Okay, you're... you're if I'm you, by myself... But you haven't met anybody. And I haven't met anybody, I'd rather have the money. <laughs> I would take the money. I know. Give me life. the money. I will buy me a man. <laughs> <laughs> million dollars didn't go very far either. Okay, 66% said $10 million. Oh, really? Yeah. That's surprising. They're smart. Well, but some of them were playing the game saying... I've already found the love of my life. Yes, and I've already found the love of my life. So at this point, yeah, please. Give me the money. Give me the money. Um, one of these has to go extinct forever. Would you rather it be chocolate or peanut butter? Um, I, I think peanut butter. You're out of your mind. Well, I mean, I'm thinking about all the things that I could just have with peanut butter and the things I could eat with chocolate. I don't know. My favorite thing in the world is peanut butter. I mean, you can't make a picking it to go. You can't sick. make a chocolate and jelly sandwich. That's for sure. No, it needs to be peanut but I butter. Could eat a Hershey's Kiss or an M and M. Um, so you're saying you'd rather peanut butter go extinct out of those two? Yeah, yeah. probably. Okay, I'm gonna say chocolate. Chocolate can go. I can have peanut butter with everything. Peanut butter, uh, but people picked peanut butter to go extinct. Yeah. Seventy-four percent of wow. you. Wow, it's a lot. One of these has to go extinct forever. Would you rather it be soft, fresh, out of the oven, ooey gooey cookies, or potato chips? All brands of potato chips. So by the, by saying all brands, I'm including like Doritos, Tostitos, chips. even tortilla chips in with Lay's and Pringles. And but all you didn't those. say any cookie. You said hot, gooey, it's gooey, soft, gooey fresh, cookies. out of the oven, ooey, gooey yeah, cookies. Yeah, I would give those up. You'd give the cookies up? Yeah. Believe it or not, I would too. Even though I love them. You know why? Because I don't have them that often. Yeah. There's also, you didn't mention like Oreos. Those aren't ooey, gooey 
fresh out of the oven cookies. Right, so, they so you could still around. have Oreos, yeah. just not... Vanilla wafers, right. all kinds of different things. Uh, 57% said they'd rather the potato chips. Go away. But it was close, 57 to 43. Yeah, it's close. Uh, I like salty more than sweet anyway, most of the time. Would you rather smell fresh cut grass or fresh laundry? Laundry. Um, and I would rather smell, I like grass. Yeah. I really do like, and I like it when it has that onion smell. Yeah, when they've had some onions in their yard. It, it just smells so good. Uh, 75% said laundry. Huh. That's Ashley's favorite scent. Yeah. Would you rather eat spaghetti or lasagna? Um, probably lasagna. Lasagna. 56% said lasagna. That's close too, though. Yes, it is. Very close. Yeah. Would you rather have... Although you can't beat a good old a plate full of spaghetti with some garlic bread. And anytime we see them like in a movie eating spaghetti, it's like, we need to have some spaghetti. I know, it's really easy yeah. to fix. <laughs> uh, would you rather have your own transportation or use public transportation? No, I'd much rather drive myself. Yeah, 94% said uh, have your but own. But you know, it depends on where I live too. Because if I lived in like New York or London or something, I would say I'm not dealing with my own car. I'd rather just take public transportation. Right, if I lived in London, then I wouldn't have a car. Yeah, There's... and you would feel like, why do I need it? I don't need my own car. Yeah, That's just I would something much I rather deal with. Be, be on the tube. If I lived in New York, I would, they have bikes, they they have their own uh, public transportation. Pre, yeah, so I would definitely yeah. do that. Okay, would you rather dip your fries in ketchup or ice cream? Ketchup. Ketchup. 81% said ketchup. Yeah, I mean, I have done it in, in the Frosties before, but it's not something I do all the time. When drinking from a can, would you rather use a straw or drink directly from the can? I would just drink from the can. Although I understand, I would wipe it off first to clean it. But but yeah, I would just. But drink you know can. what? I'm gonna be honest. Until we we lived uh, our old neighbor at our old house. Until she mentioned wiping the can off, it had never occurred to me because I wasn't taught that. Get. My parents. It was just something that you didn't think about. And until she mentioned it, that she always wiped off the can. It never occurred to me, but I would rather use a straw. Yeah, and you always did a after that. Yeah, well, a straw with a can. And mm -hmm. I, yeah, anytime I have a can now, uh, which is very rarely, but I always use a straw. Um, and 68% uh, said drink directly from the can. So, uh, would you rather receive bad news via text slash phone or in person? I'd rather have it in person. In person is 70%. Yeah. Yeah. And then the last question, would you rather have beautiful eyes or kissable lips? Eyes. I would rather have beautiful eyes. Yeah, because um, I feel like that's what people look at the most. Mm -hmm. They're looking at you when they're talking to you. They're looking in your eyes. It's amazing to us anytime. Now, The, the Apprentice uh, in the UK hasn't been on uh, for a while because of COVID, but it's amazing to us when you see contestants over there, how many of them have these piercing, piercing blue, like white, eyes. blue eyes. I mean, almost white. People have blue eyes in the United States. Of course they do. But it seems like over in the UK, there are so many more people with these piercing blue I mean, like eyes. icy. Almost. Oh, and they're absolutely gorgeous. Just beautiful. I would like to have blue eyes like that. I think that would be neat. so neat. So anyway, these are the questions that we asked during uh, the month of April. I plan to continue to ask questions uh, uh, through May. Play along. Play along. Don't, don't take it too serious. Pick one. Pick one. Don't say neither. Yeah, neither is not an answer. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's when I read that, this is what I'm thinking. That there is, <laughs> I don't want to pick one. <laughs> that, that's how I read that answer. You have to pick one or you're not playing right. So I hope you enjoyed getting to hear our answers. We love getting to hear your replies underneath always. And thanks for watching.